everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reezy. Today I wanted to recommend some craft books to you. There are lots of ways to learn about writing craft. There are articles online, there are videos online, there are podcasts, you can listen to interviews with authors, you can take classes. So many ways to learn how to write, but one of the most kind of just tried and true standard ways to learn writing craft is from a good old fashioned craft book. However, the thing with craft books is that there are a lot of them, and sometimes it can be hard to know where to start, to know which one is actually going to be useful, to know which one is going to have more basic information for those of you who kind of are starting and want something foundational, to know which ones are going to be a bit more advanced. It can be really hard to know because they kind of all look the same, and a lot of the time they can kind of all cover similar information. So in this video I'm going to be sharing seven different writing craft books that you can take a look at depending on what you're interested in learning about. So first of all, let's start with Story by Robert McKee. I swear by this. Even though this is a screenwriting book, if you feel you need to brush up on your structure or you feel like you've never fully understood structure, this is the best book to take a look at. I didn't realize that there were things I didn't fully understand until I read Story and it just made so much sense. I don't think I really understood how inciting incidents worked properly and complexly until I read Story and I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. This book has some of the clearest, most in-depth, and most useful descriptions of plot structure and plot elements that I've ever encountered. Even if you're a fiction writer like I am, reading screenwriting books by screenwriting gurus like McKee can be so useful and that's because screenwriters really break things down like a science in a way that other writers don't and they really can break it down almost like math. It can be super useful if you're wanting to learn about structure to take a look at screenwriting texts, screenwriting methods, and screenwriting formulas because it's all the same idea of story and how story works they just take a way deeper look into it and really look at the mechanics of structure. Next up is a really well-loved book on writing craft and it's Bird by Bird by Anne Lamont. If you search up best books on writing, Bird by Bird almost always comes up. This is, I will say, the only craft book that I've ever seen people just carrying around. The number of times I've been in a class and someone has just like been carrying this around in their bag or I've even just seen this people carrying this around in public reading it multiple times. I've never seen any other craft book that people just like carry around just for some light reading on the bus. Bird by Bird is a really wise book on writing craft, writing process, and kind of just life in general in relation to writing. It's very anecdotal, so very kind of funny and approachable, especially if you're a beginner, this is a great one to start with because it's really just easy and approachable to read and it kind of just covers all of the foundational aspects of writing craft, but also writing process. For someone who's been writing for a long time, I wouldn't say you really need to study writing process because you probably have your own writing process and you've probably figured it out pretty well. But if you're new to writing and you're figuring out your process and you don't really know what to do, how to actually Actually just approach the process of writing. Bird by Bird gives a lot of really useful suggestions for that to help guide you towards figuring your way into actually writing the words rather than just understanding the craft of it. All in all, it's kind of just an excellent book to start with. Next up is kind of another classic and it's The Elements of Style by E.B. White and William Strunk Jr. I was going to say this is an essential that you should always have on hand within reach, and then I spent 10 minutes looking for the book because I couldn't find my copy of it. So maybe I wasn't following my own rule on that one, but it is a good one to always have on hand within reach whenever you're in doubt. This is a really short kind of handbook that really covers all of the technical elements of grammar and writing that you might encounter in your own work. It's kind of just an essential to have around anytime you need to double check something. It's also really tiny so it covers everything very concisely so it's really easy to flip through and find what you need to know. If you are really deeply in love with grammar and copy editing or maybe you actually want to work as a copy editor and you really want to learn about copy editing. Another book that looks at the same kind of topics that you can take a look at is The Copy Editor's Handbook by Amy Einson. So if you love grammar so much that this just isn't enough for you, this is what I would take a look at. It's it's giant and there's a lot of information in here. This is actually a textbook that I got from a copy editing course. It basically covers everything that you need to know in a lot of depth. You can maybe see some of my highlights in there. It's not concise like the elements of style, but if you really want a deep dive into everything grammatical, everything technical, everything related to copy editing, this is a really great resource. This wasn't actually in my seven books that I mentioned at the top. I just saw this on my shelf and I was like, 
gotta share the love of copy editing. Another one that actually has its root in screenwriting is Save the Cat Writes a Novel by Jessica Brody. We've been talking a lot about Save the Cat on this channel lately. We've got a video all about Save the Cat as well as a video on plot structures where we also talked about Save the Cat. A lot of Save the Cat, but Save the Cat is kind of having a resurgence in fiction at the moment because of this book. Save the Cat started as a screenwriting structure created by Blake Snyder and it's something that has been used pretty prolifically by a lot of screenwriters. Recently this book came out where Jessica Brody takes this structure and applies it to fiction writing. If you were interested by Save the Cat in our other videos and you feel like it's something you either want to learn more about or that it would benefit your writing, this is a great resource because it's going to take all those concepts, look at it really in depth, and do so in a fiction specific way so that you don't have to worry about taking something that is originally a screenwriting tool and translating it to fiction. Next up is a more publishing focused book, How to Become a Successful Indie Author by Craig Martell. If you feel like you understand the craft, you've got your book written, now you're setting your sights on publishing, specifically indie publishing, this is the book for you. It's not as much focused on writing craft, it's focused on actually publishing and selling your book in the indie market. Navigating the publishing side of your author career is just as important as navigating the craft side. So especially if you plan on self-publishing, knowing the industry and knowing how to approach publishing can make a huge difference in the success of your book's launch and your book's sales. Even if you're planning on going the traditional publishing route, a lot of the topics in here can help you with your personal marketing and personal branding that can still be really, really useful. Now we have another structure one peppered in here. Story Structure Architect by Victoria Schmidt. If story wasn't enough for you, Save the Cat wasn't enough for you, maybe you want to take a look at Story Structure Architect. This book takes a really deep dive into the structure element of storytelling. So if you feel like it's either something you really love and really want to know a lot about, or if it's something you don't fully understand yet and want to learn about, this might be the book for you. If you want to learn different methods of structure in your book, or want to learn more or improve on your pacing or your plot development, this is definitely one to check out. And then finally is another one I've got here with me, The Magic Word by Cheryl Klein. If you write middle grade or young adult, this is a great book to take a look at because it's specifically focused on writing for those categories. It covers all of the essentials of writing craft, but does so in a lens that is specifically geared towards writing young adult and middle grade. I kept this from a class on writing young adult and I didn't think I was going to keep it afterwards, but I actually just found it really interesting and I thought that the way she describes concepts, even if they were ones that I already knew, I thought that she just explained concepts in a very clear way. So this is a great foundational read if you want to learn how to write, especially if you're writing for children. Even if you're not writing YA or middle grade, I'd actually still really recommend this. I think the principles of character and structure she talks about here are applicable to any genre, any category, and she explains them in a way that I think from my perspective just makes a lot of sense, is very easy to apply to your work. So those are some craft books to check out next time you want to do a bit of learning. Let me know what your favorite writing craft book is in the comments, and remember to subscribe for new writing, editing, and publishing videos every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time, bye!